Just his leadership, and I think that's always been um, you know, from preseason to when I've been here. He's always been a leader, not just on the field, but you know, he's a whole group. I think it's just different having him around the leader. The kids look up to him, and you know, that's a great thing to have him on the field in the locker room. Over here. I know you and Dan have both said the love that he's a leader. He kind of brings guys up on the field when he's out there. Is it vocal? Is he exhorting guys, or just uh, sort of the knowledge that he's out there? When he walks in, when he comes in, you're going to get the same feeling. The smile on his face. It's a, I mean, it's you know, those kids. There's never a, a, a dull moment with him. He's got a smile on his face. He's happy. He's positive about everything he does. So it's you know, no matter where it is, when you, he walks in here today, it's going to be the same way. You, you just get a vibe from him that that's not every kid has. You know, it's just it's, it's great to have him on the field. It's great to have him on the sidelines. No different when he, you know, when he when he kind of rolled up and got you know when he got rolled up, which I think was more frightening for him than it was anything else. Was it you know he, all five, all those offensive linemen sit there and go. What's wrong? I mean, you got Arshido Clark walking up saying, "Hey, what's wrong with him?" It's just, it's in fact, he's an infectious kid in a positive way, which is the greatest thing going. You know, he graded out, I think, 95 percent. Yeah, I think 93 because he lost. He lost with the group, so I think Gabe was one percent higher than him. So he was upset about it. <laughs> oh, that was a 93. Yeah, yeah, still so somewhere in that range. But I mean, how common is it is for Gutter to, to grade that high? So, you know, if, if, I mean, again, I think it's one thing is. Um, well, we had a couple of things. Gabe was about 90. I think Gabe was, no, whatever he was, was one higher because they listened to them argue about it yesterday. Um, <laughs> at dinner, they're fighting over who's got more because they get more dessert than the other one. But um, <laughs> I think the biggest thing is it, it's not. I think it's the one. I think there's a whole group that played very well. Um, I mean, there's very few things, there's a couple here and there, but I think there's a group they played well. I think it's, you know, you see the maturity. Right? It's, they gotta keep, we got to keep getting better. Um, there's still a lot of long ways for us to go, but I think you sit there and say, as a group, they took a lot of ownership in what we had to do and the game plan, the game plan it was in, and that knowing what was going to happen in communication. I think that's the biggest thing they did Saturday was they communicated from start to finish on everything we saw. When he came in there in the fourth quarter, very first play, guys run right, get 20 yards on it. Was that uh, – or I see, I guess I not. remember that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Perkins, you guys have not been running the ball well. They got 20 yards. I mean, how much did that kind of help the offensive line when Tobias got back out there? To... I don't know if it, if it, it helped more. I mean, again, I, it's, it, he's an infectious kid that way, being positive. I don't know the, 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 the exact play that it was when he went back in. Um, but I think it's the same thing. It's, you know, our, we did a, Tyler did a great job throwing the ball. I think it was good protection for the most part all night. Um, so I think with the run of the ball was something that we had to do, we want to do. But to me, to when Tyler's got a hot hand like that, I mean, just keep playing, keep playing those cards before you play anything else. I saw Justin around town on Sunday. He just said, some people walked out to us and I've never been in a worse in my entire life. And it's, I don't know how Tobias does it. He'll keep his heart rate the way he does. And five years. That's yeah, just that's, better in the That's five years. I mean, that's a, and I was laughing today. I was talking about today. And, you know, and everyone looks at Gabe now and it's, it's three years later, four years later. Me and Gabe had those same deer and headlight looks three years ago. I mean, Blaine had him last year. Dylan had him last year. They've all gone through it. You know, Gabe's first year, his first game he played in was Auburn versus the Fairly Kid. You know, and he came off the sideline. And, like, deer and headlights looked at me like, what, what is this all about? You know, so it's not, it's not, it's not a first time it's happened. It's, it's every kid going as a freshman, their first starts, and you know, it still happens to older guys when he gets, he gets in the game and becomes a better game that they still have that look. And, just got to get over it, and once they get that first hit, first play, it gets over it. He's still going through a lot of that stuff. I think it's a lot of things with Dylan and Gabe and Tobias who are doing a great job trying to help him. You can only do so much to calm his nerves. He's still going to go out and do it himself, but I think that's one thing Tobias does. And on the sidelines, talking to him, getting through me. Tobias had a sign last night with Justin. He still came back and we talked to him every series. They're fine. Here's what they're doing. You know, helping him through just to ease his heart rate. Hyperventilating. Sorry. So I think that was the, the most snaps Tobias has played this year. I think he's played the exact same amount of snaps last night that he played here or so, 49 snaps. Mm -hmm. Is this as good as he looked this year? Yeah, I think it's, I mean, I mean Auburn, he played, I mean, played as well too and played last, you know. And again, the bigger the games get, the bigger you get in the season, I think it's the same thing. It's, it was great last night. Again, we got to keep doing it again this week and the week after. And we're going to play the rest of the next six games. Is, you know, they got to get up emotionally and mentally and be on the game plan like that. I know it's probably a lot just a matter of how he's feeling and having to do with someone's whatever, but is he, I think, to that point where he can be starting every game, you know, maybe I mean, to me, the, the great thing is I don't know if I needed to. You know, I wish I had more. I mean, I think Justin, is, I mean, Justin, Justin was in a range of, of, I think, just about 78 to 79 percent grade, not which you know, where he's going to be. And I think the biggest thing is I don't need to play first now. You know, it's not where you have to play him, but when it's crucial, you want, again, you want that leader, you want that infectious person out there, just the, the whole huddle smiles and stuff. happy about it. How has Tobias, for a guy who's missed 